or scratch my ankle where my blisters are without thinking about it. This is my brother-in-law, Kip. He has an unusual holiday tradition. So this is my Christmas sweater. The story behind it is that Josh and I, my old roommate, we were going to a Christmas party. We wanted to dress up in our Christmas clothes. What can I say? With the tie, nailed it. My only regret is I never got to buy a pipe. Because I feel like I have a pipe. That would be really good. I have really weird taste, and it just became a sweater that I like to wear. So instead of wearing it as a joke, I started to wear it because I really like it, so it became just a serious thing. The more I put it on, I was like, wow, I don't think this is dumb. And, but other people think it's dumb, I guess. If I'm really feeling crazy, you know, I've got my, my scarf. When I see a man dressed like this, all I can think is, he must have the biggest set of balls imaginable. So totally, plus Christmas can be about love. Kip's brother Randy actually tried to get him to stop wearing the sweater, but it was no use. So I really came out and spoke against it and told him, there's no way you're wearing that sweater in public, especially if I'm around you, because I know the more that I speak out against it, the more he'll wear it. His sister Wendy says dressing up like this is just part of his personality. And he doesn't think that people should have to get to know him a little at a time. He puts it all out there. so. Anybody willing to accept the sweater must accept him, too. He's just kind of a nerd. He likes Star Wars and Star Trek and WWF wrestling and computer games. It's not like he doesn't know it's an ugly sweater. He's aware of it. He's got a self-awareness, and it's that he ignores it's almost like he enjoys breaking these norms of like what's socially acceptable. Well, I'd like to think that he could find somebody um, who's spontaneous and fun by wearing that sweater. I just don't know if that is the most effective way. I've never seen a family so concerned over someone wearing a sweater or an individual's personality so strongly defined by one. And then I start to think that maybe we need people like Kip do things that we're afraid to do around other people, to express ourselves the way that we're afraid to express ourselves. People at church say they love the sweater, but that might be their camouflage way of saying I would never be caught dead wearing that sweater, but I'm glad that you're wearing it. Is that like something you're known for, is wearing funny they, clothes? Or? They would just come to accept the fact that Kip would do something stupid, like wear a fun Christmas sweater, and it's just not a big deal to them anymore. So, yeah. yeah well, like one time, you know, I wore roller skates to school, and, uh, Oh, that's Kip. And so they're just used to me doing dumb stuff. You know, he does things on purpose to be eccentric or to like test people to see if they're even worth getting to know. And, you know, and it used to embarrass me, and now I'm just, you know, whatever. He's my brother. I love him no matter what. I don't really care. This is me and him roller skating on my birthday last year, a habit that he introduced me to. I had to borrow all my clothes from him. 